Happy New Year everyone! I hope you had a good transition from this pretty shitty last year into this hopefully much better uh, 2021. And yeah, welcome to the new studio. Uh, as you can tell, everything looks kind of different. We're in a new studio because I moved away from uh, the city and to the country yard and it just didn't make sense to drive more than 200 kilometers every time I just wanted to record something. So yeah, if you've been following me on Instagram, uh, you could see for the better part of a month now now how everything changed how I moved from the old uh, studio to the new one how I built everything up here I hope to uh, create some decent new videos in here okay let's start with some new gear that I got here uh, let's start with some cameras that I got thanks to you guys everyone from patreon and who donated uh, via PayPal for example thank you very much I appreciate that very much of course and yeah, I'm gonna reinvest all the money that I get uh, into this channel, of course. I started out with some new cameras because uh, the old cameras got some shitty quality uh, and that bugged me for a long time now. So I got a uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black, 7 Silver, DJI Osmo Action and uh, Olympus CG Tracker. I just uh, watched some reviews on YouTube about uh, affordable action cams and yeah these seemed pretty nice so I got them very cheap on eBay my plan is to uh, figure out which model I like best and then over time um, exchange all my cameras to this one model for example and sell the other ones of course yeah so thank you guys for making possible to buy these new cameras that's pretty awesome and I hope to bring them to good use of course okay so the very obvious next big change uh, gear wise are my new symbols got all new symbols it's all minor i'm not endorsed by minor but yeah i go way back uh, with that brand actually my very first symbols that i bought myself uh, were minor crash symbol and uh, minor i think it was an a moon a uh, Chinese symbol and yeah they sounded pretty great they were very affordable actually these most of them are the minor custom classics dark series and I saw them in a store I think it was music store in Cologne like a year ago or one and a half year ago I don't remember exactly and they just looked amazing and then I tried them out they sounded incredible and ever since I couldn't get it out of my head that I someday want to play these cymbals so yeah I thought with changing the studio this would be the perfect opportunity to change the whole cymbal set and yeah, now I'm a proud uh, minor player, so to say. Okay, so let's go very quickly over uh, all the symbols that I got here. Uh, it's a 16 inch Trash China, 16, 18 and 19 inch Crash. Then over there I have a 16 inch Trash China, 18 inch China. This is the 12 inch Trash Stack, I think it's called. 20 inch right the 14 inch hi-hat, 10 inch and 12 inch splash. These are all from the uh, Custom Classic Dark series. Then I have uh, Custom Classics Bell, 8 inch and I have a second hi-hat there that's a 10 inch HCS hi-hat. And we will hear how all the symbols sound in just a minute uh, when I play a demo of everything. Okay, so these are my new symbols. I'm very very happy, they sound just amazing, much better than I uh, remembered how they sound uh, when I played them in the, in the music store and uh, yeah I'm super satisfied and uh, couldn't be happier with these cymbals. Okay, let's move on to the guitar area and see what uh, new kind of stuff we have there. So here we are in the guitar and bass area. Uh, as you can see, there's a new bass right here. This is a Harley Benton bass from their Progressive series. Harley Benton is the home brand of Tolman and uh, I think it's known to be uh, very cheap, not only talking about price, but also quality. But I think they made quite the significant changes uh, regarding quality in the recent past. Some of you may know uh, that this is my uh, go-to guitar cabinet. Uh, whenever I record uh, my videos I always record everything through this 2x12 
which is also a Harley Benton and it was only 200 euros and it sounds simply amazing. Uh, so yeah, I thought that cabinet is so good and uh, I hear people talking very good stuff lately about this brand. Okay, let's give it a try. And this bass is only, I think, under 200 euros. And uh, yeah, I played it now and uh, it sounds amazing. It feels great. It came right out of the box and uh, I didn't have to set it up or anything. Just plug in and play. Okay, tune it, of course. And yeah, I'm very happy with it. Another Harley Benton gadget that I got is this Harley Benton American Sound uh, pedal. I think it's a, a guitar pedal, but played around with it and uh, got some really nice bass sounds uh, that I was looking for anyway. Okay, guitar gear. Uh, I got this uh, TC Electronic Mimic pedal, very cheap on eBay. I was looking for it uh, for a longer time because, yeah, of course, uh, when I record my guitars, I always double the guitars, so I have to play it once and then uh, again through a different amp. And with this pedal, I can now uh, record uh, through both amps without sounding like uh, one guitar. It actually sounds like two guitars, so this is, uh, comes in very handy, I think, whenever I record now. So, yeah, as you can tell, I'm recording with two microphones the joyo zombie goes through the 2x12 cabinet and the joyo vivo goes uh, through this 4x12 and uh, yeah now i can always uh, record both amps with one guitar so that's pretty cool yeah even though i have a lot of other cabinets here i <laughs> almost only use my joyo amps here so yeah i don't think that's gonna change anytime soon okay so that's it uh, a bunch of new gear new studio Let's check out how everything sounds together.